Hey everyone, it's Nicholas Wilton at Art to Life, and um, still here in my kitchen. Um, and uh, I wanted to talk today a little bit about, you know, like our art and and how it's such such nourishing nourishment for our for our mind, our body, and and soul. But but I've been cooking a lot too, <laughs> and food and the cooking kind of is the same thing. And because I haven't been making as much art, and I've been cooking a lot more. Uh, it's, I started to sort of really think a lot about how cooking and how the food we make is really connected to art making. And I'm just kind of curious if this is something that you've thought about, because I'm finding a lot of, uh, ability to sort of express myself in, in the food I'm making right now. Um, you know, one of the things that I've realized totally this week has been, it's just all about differences. You know, this idea in art making, and this is really art to life, this is I teach, this is what we're diving into in the Creative Visionary program right now, uh, how differences scale of things, you know, if there's small things next to big things, if, if bright colors next to dull colors, uh, control and out of control, the differences of the way we put our, we are when we're putting our art together, also what's in our picture, what we can see, provides a lot of the sort of feeling that somebody gets when they look at our art. Does it make you feel alive? When we experience differences, it's, it's, there's an up-leveling of, of that feeling. Um, and, and that's a great information for art making. And so we can practice this in our art making. We can practice this idea in our sketchbooks, but it also kind of comes out in cooking. And I, and I just thought it was really interesting. Um, the idea of, of, you know, having something that's, you know, like a, I just made this amazing leek soup and it's super velvety and wonderful, but it tastes so much better with crackers <laughs> because, because they're crunchy and they're hard and they're dry and they're salty. And this soup is really buttery and velvety. Those two tastes bring you nourishment. They make you feel alive. They do make you feel alive because they are bringing you, it's nourishment, but but it's interesting to start thinking about that, the colors of the things that we put. Like, I'm not really good with purple. I don't really like purple a lot. But the purple that's, that an eggplant is, is amazing, right? And this idea that, you know, nature uses color in the most beautiful of ways. And it has a lot to do with, with the, all the other colors that are in that purple. Rarely are colors in nature straight out of the tube colors. They're just not, that doesn't exist in nature. So one of my favorite colors uh, is in this soup and I'm gonna include, uh, I'll be sharing this soup recipe, uh, a couple other recipes, but I'll be sharing this pea soup recipe on our Friday kitchen table, on our Wednesday kitchen table art project day, which is coming up. But it's uh, it's made with peas and and the green of this soup is it's worth it just for the green color, you know what I mean? So uh, that's kind of cool. And then and then the other thing, you know, so you're discovering these colors, you know, the the purple of an eggplant, the pea, the green, the pea green of pea greens, actual like pea green soup when you when you blenderize those and what it looks like. Um, it's they're amazing colors that if you pay attention and see and try to make those, you can use those colors. Uh, also, the the whole deal with cooking, the whole buildup is you put these ingredients together and I'm not a big recipe follower. I kind of, you know, find my way as I go, it's, which is similar to how I paint, actually. But having the big building blocks, the big chunks of thing, you know, this is pea soup and this is you get this much amount of peas and this much amount of vegetable broth and and you put these big things together like you do in a picture. You're composing, you're using a chainsaw to do the work in the beginning. The big moves generally happen in the beginning of making art. Big ideas and you're more bold. And then as you get going, you're adjusting. You're constantly adjusting and you're refining. And this is where the discernment comes in. And this is what I'm so into this cooking thing because you get to adjust stuff, you get to season things and you can get it just perfect, balancing the sourness, you know, 
with, with the sweetness, the salt and the fat and all of those things to make it taste good. And it's like great color is the same way. You just, if it looks amazing, the color's working. You don't need to know the science behind it. If it tastes good, it's a great recipe. It's a great dish. All, that's the only that's the only yardstick we need is if it tastes good and we can control that by how we balance things. So it's that, that discernment again. Anyway, I just think it's, I've just been surprised about this, uh, this kind of creative uh, roadway that I've gone into here uh, just by starting to cook a little more. It's kind of cool. And I wondered, uh, you know, how you're cooking or your food preparation or whatever, how, if that's connecting to your art at all and how that does. And, and I'd just be really curious to hear about that. Um, and, and this is gonna be kind of what we're gonna be talking about on Wednesday. We're, on Wednesday, we had the, we, we just did it, the Kitchen Table Art Project. We're all come together. We're, a bunch of us are making art. You can just bring, we're working on our kitchen tables. It's about an hour and a half and we're just making art. And, uh, but this week, we're gonna start the conversation around this subject, about how your creativity uh, connects to your cooking. We're gonna have some folks on there who really know their way around a kitchen and they're also artists. And um, I'll be sharing some of my favorite recipes and I would love you to come along and share yours as well. So that'll be Wednesday at 12. There's some links to, below this. You can, uh, you can join that, it's just for fun. Just, and you can also find out more going to kitchen table uh, artproject.com. Last week, there was a bunch of stuff that was talked about and we were, didn't were really planning, but we've now written down uh, a lot of the materials that were mentioned. You know, every time you talk to an artist, they're doing something that you just want to know, like, wait, what is that pen you're using? You know, what is that paint? There was a whole bunch of stuff that I'd never even heard about just because we were just sharing with each other and people were showing us what they were working on. And so we've created a list. So that list will be there. There's a PDF you can access on that website as well. So um, I hope your week's been going great and that you're doing well and you're cooking amazing food and nourishing yourself with your art and your cooking. All right, guys, thanks a lot. And hopefully uh, we'll see you on Wednesday. Okay, bye. Hey, everyone, if you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So please, Join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, great. Let's do this.